So for what I showcased in the beginning portions of the introduction of the video, you can perform a Wolf Sunning 3 loop from certain starting launchers. Now the starting launchers that you can do it from are usually from your down forward 2, up forward 4, and depending on some other particular types of attacks you can do it from your orbitals, counter head back 4, and other moves as well. Now the difficulty of doing this particular loop is so difficult that I drop it so many times even when I'm training right here and I'm doing this video for you guys it is that difficult so to perform a wall setting 3 loop it requires you to go into your sneak stance from a wall setting 3 and then from there you have to then cancel it by going and pressing down back that's how you cancel out of the move to then go into another wolf standing three so you're essentially doing something like this it is very difficult i did a slower version of the move but you got to do it quickly to then get yourself the float off of the combo to then at the end of the loop which is usually either two to three wolf standing three loops to then get the last hit off of 3-3, which is the Wolfsonian 3-3 to get the tornado bound. So, like that. And then at the end, you do that. Of course, not doing 3 in entirely. I'm just saying that at the third one, you do the 3-3. So again, that's it. You just do two loops. And then the third one, which is uh, technically your third loop, into the last hit of the three to get the tornado bound. So to do it slowly, all you got to do is simply, again, you go into your crouching position, you go into your three, you press down forward. And then from there, you just hold down back. Now the issue is, is that you're not just performing the wall setting three loops. You're also required, depending on the combo route, to also cancel out of other moves. Like you have to use your down back two into your silent step stance and cancel out of that as well. You may even need to cancel out of your full crash on port four to then do your combo routes from there as well. So for the hardest combo route that you can perform, like I've just showcased, two attempts to perform this combo and I got it on the third try. Now that's not me boasting, that's just me telling you how difficult it is to perform the move. With other characters that have built in particular types of routes for their combos, it's so easy to perform them depending on which character you're playing with that it doesn't require any execution and you get big ass damage. But with Shaheen, in his case, to get his damage, it requires a convoluted execution process just to get himself at least 75 damage from this. So you get around 75 damage from this particular type of combo route. And again, like I said, it is so difficult to perform this one. This this particular combo route in itself is the hardest, I, I think. I, I might have said that there is more than other ones, but I think that this one is beyond the hardest version to perform. So you're canceling out a stealth step stance, I believe around five times, just to perform this combo route. That's why that some Shaheen players would just recommend to do at least two Wolf Sunning 3 loops instead of doing three. Because the third one may trap players in into performing it and they may end up messing up. Because what tends to happen is that what you get out of the combo, 
is if you mess up instead of getting the loop you might get this you may get that instead you don't get the loop instead you get yourself a stealth step into three and you don't want that you don't want to do that because in certain scenarios if you're in a stage that has walls which is the majority of the other stages in this game are usually walls besides the several ones that don't have walls or at least that they're considered to be infinite stages i mean you don't want to end up switching your side so that you're then at the wall and the opponent is at the center stage but then again you're not going to be doing this particular combo in those stages anyways because the combo route is so long that by the time that you have done even one loop you'll end up being so close to the wall that you won't get a second or third loop of wolf signing three but in the infinite stages where you want to get the most damage across this particular combo route is very difficult so instead which i already showcased in the all-in-one guide is that don't do that just do this That's why I recommend to not do the Wolf Hunting 3 loops if you can't perform them all that accurately yet. So instead, you can just go with the, you know, more moderately difficult combo routes like this one. It still gives you some decent damage. It doesn't, hit, it doesn't really give you the amount that you would want, essentially, from the Wolf Hunting 3 loops. And you can't do the Wolf Lane 3 loop from that particular combo route either. So I'll just showcase it so that you won't feel that, oh, why aren't you doing the loops from there instead? See, it just drops. That's the quickest way to do it. And it still can perform the entire loop from there. So it's only specific combo routes and starting launchers, I mean, that allows you to get the loops from there. In fact, if you do the orbital, his up forward three, you can only get two Wolf Sunning 3 loops. As you see, the third one just ends up whiffing. It doesn't give you the last hit off of that to get the tornado bound. So only this one can only do two loops, which in a way makes it easier, but it's still not the damage that you want. But then again, this particular combo route gives you more damage than the one that I just showcased at the start, which was the hardest combo route to do. That only gives you 75 damage, but this one gives you 76. So it's one of his hardest means of performing his combos with the Wolf Sunning 3 loops. If you can perform it, if you have the execution to do so, you get the most damage across with Shaheen. And depending on the combo routes and depending on which stage you're in, Doing the combo route will net you even more damage if you are, let's say, at the far end of a stage that has walls. But then once you reach the other end, you may even get around almost 100 damage across the board just by performing the Wolf Sunning 3 loops. So for now, let me just showcase you some of the combos you can do with this particular type of Wolf Sunning 3 loops. And essentially, you know, practice at your leisure. <laughs> These are all the combo routes that I know of with Shaheen that you can perform with. 
There are other ones you can do with, but I don't recall how to perform them well. But these are the ones that are your staple BNB world sending three loops you can perform with Shaheen. So I hope that this guide has kind of helped you out in performing these very difficult combo routes with the world sending three loops or the stanky leg loops that I like to call them. And so, if you enjoyed what you watched, give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more of my shit, and stay tuned for more.